Okay, so we're going to use worldly terms and then we're going to get biblical because the church will try to make you feel guilty when you cut these people out of your life. But you do what God tells you to do. Okay, so there are different branches in psychology and psychology is the study of the soul and your soul is made up of your mind, your emotions and your will. Right. Okay, so let's take a look at clinical psychology okay so a clinical psychologist deals with psychiatric and mental illnesses like anxiety disorders mood disorders eating disorders psychotic disorders personality disorders okay just to name a few okay and here are some personality disorders okay these are not all of them so ASPD, antisocial personality disorder, like the psychopath or sociopath, they don't know who they are. So, you know, they have multiple masks, split mind, dissociative identity disorder, multiple personality disorder. OK, mind split. We got the cluster B's, the narcissist, they too wear masks, okay, mind split. If we look at uh, the psychotic disorders, okay, so in this category, we find schizophrenia, okay, and there are different degrees to schizophrenia, okay, so when it's severe, you know, like they're having uh, audible and visual hallucinations and, and they're not hallucinations. OK, this is a spiritual experience. They are being tormented by demons. OK, and this is why people think that we're crazy, because we are having a, a, a spiritual experience. But we know that is spiritual, but we listen to the voice of the Lord. So, you know, when it gets severe and they're having these hallucinations um, and they decide to get help, you know, usually they'll get sent to the witch doctor. OK, that's going to prescribe them the pharmacia. OK, to keep the voices at bay. But they're still there. OK, the demons are just going to be quiet to trick that person into thinking that they're making progress. OK, but they're still there. Okay, And I'm not saying don't go to the doctor and just start taking all medications. All right. If something going on, you know, go get yourself checked out. OK, but this is when it's severe. OK, when they're, they're hearing all these voices. Right. Okay, so schizophrenia comes from the Greek words schizo, meaning split, and phren, meaning mind, to describe fragmented thinking. Okay, split mind. Okay, see the common factor between these disorders? Okay, now let's get biblical. Okay, so double-minded comes from the Greek word disp shows which means double sold double sold or split mind okay a double minded man is unstable in all his ways okay other words for unstable okay unsteady erratic insecure impulsive sensitive uncertain inconsistent a lack of emotional control okay just tossed to and fro okay now we are not to are supposed to have a split mind a split personalities okay we are to have one mind in christ okay one all right and this is why we're on the same page okay not unstable okay he gives us stability okay firmly established not easily moved steady fixed strength soundness safety consistency okay so you know a lot of these people were either spoiled as a child, which is abuse, okay, spoil Ryan, or they were abandoned or rejected, right? And then the devil whispered in their ear that something was wrong with their personality, okay, that this was their fault. This, this is your fault because something's wrong with your personality, something's wrong with your identity, and you need to reject it and allow us to enter. 
All right. So these entities entered into them and fragmented their soul, split their mind. Okay. And they began to take on the personality of these different demons. Okay. They say reject your personality. Okay. And take on ours and then we'll represent you. Okay. And then nobody can ever hurt you again. All right. We're going to be uh, your bodyguards. All right give us your identity all right um and this is why you see uh these different masks okay because demons have personalities they don't have bodies okay so they need a host and these spirits are stubborn prideful rebellious okay this is why they're this way too Okay, they are living in disobedience. They are rebelling against the Lord and rebellion is likened to witchcraft and witchcraft is basically manipulation, which is used to control. They want to be in control of everything and every one. Okay, what happened to Saul? He disobeyed the Lord and he was living in rebellion and then God sent him a tormenting spirit. These people are being tormented. Okay, they are being tormented. So it causes them to lash out at others, okay? And this is how they relieve themselves from all that pain and torment, okay? They had to dump it onto somebody, all right? And, you know, these personalities in them, as time goes on, they, they attract more personalities. And this is why, you know, when you haven't seen them for like a month, and then you see them again. Uh, they're like a whole new person, okay? <laughs> you know, it's real trippy. It's real trippy. You're like, what happened to you? <laughs> this is not the person that I remember. Uh, and then you realize that th this person is fake, okay? <laughs> they steal people's personalities, all right? So, yeah. You know, it's a legion, okay? Legion, for they are many. Okay, let's read that scripture, <laughs> okay? This man lived in the burial caves and could, okay? Burial caves, okay? They, they live amongst the dead and could no longer be restrained, even with a chain. Whenever he was put into chains and shackles, as he often was, he snapped the chains from his wrist and smashed the shackles. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Okay, just when you think um, they're getting somewhere, they bust up out of them shackles. Okay, they cannot be tamed because they don't trust anyone. All right. <laughs> day and night he wandered among the burial caves and in the hills and some versions say mountains not mount zion but the mountains of this world howling and cutting himself with sharp stones self-harm okay their actions cause harm to themselves okay emotionally spiritually uh mentally and physically okay they are living in a state of paranoia okay which comes from fear and when someone is in fear of their life okay you need to get away from them because this is dangerous all right when a wounded animal is backed into a corner okay they're gonna attack you to defend themselves okay and they have been wounded Okay, so the way that they act is a defense mechanism to protect their fragile ego, okay, their fake image. And this is why you must go no contact, okay? So you, I'm sorry, listen, you should know this, Timothy, that in the last days, there will be very difficult times for people will love only themselves. OK, they don't love anybody. OK, nobody. All right. And their money. OK, they're very materialistic. They think that happiness is found externally. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents. OK, they have a problem with authority. 
All right. Nobody can tell them anything, not even God. And ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. Okay. They, they are perverse. Um, they will be unloving and unforgiving. Okay. They, uh, they have little to no empathy. They will slander others and have no self control. Okay. Slander others. Okay. That smear campaign. <laughs> They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that, okay? No contact in the Bible is biblical, okay? <laughs> This is why you're told to go. No contact is right here in the Bible, right? They are the kind who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with guilt of sin and controlled by various desires. Okay, guilty. They entered my house because you know when you're not walking with the lord okay you can't walk in confidence right you know i was following my ways all right burdened with the guilt of sin i was vulnerable okay all of us were vulnerable okay so such women are forever following new teachings but they are able, never able to understand the truth these teachers oppose the tru truth just as john's and jambres oppose moses they have depraved minds and a counterfeit faith but they won't get away with this for long someday everyone will recognize what fools they are just as with john's and jambres okay yeah someday everybody will recognize what fools they are yeah yeah that's why god sent you into their life all right he woken you awakened you to the truth okay plucked you out of the fire and you were chosen okay and you said i was made for this i could tell when mama had me hop right off the table told my doctor i ain't never <laughs> He asked me, what does that mean? I told him, get the pen and pad, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you got that pen and pad and you started taking notes because God told you, listen, they weren't trying to make a connection with you. They were studying you like a lab rat. So this is what I want you to do. Okay. I'm going to keep them around for a little bit. Just trust me. Okay. Now, I still want you to love on them okay do good to them bless them pray for them be the shoulder to cry on you know treat them good okay but have them boundaries up now have them boundaries up this time and you know you be good to them all right and you tell them about me and also you know how they were studying you i want you to study them so say less and observe all right and then you're gonna leave okay you're going to leave. They're not going to be connected to you anymore. And then I want you to take this information and share it with others. Okay. Exposure season. Okay. And this <laughs> made them livid. They did not like that. <laughs> they didn't like that. Okay. Because you know what? They spent their whole lives. Okay. Building this false image. And you know to hide how fragile they really are and you tore that down okay you shut that all the way down <laughs> you shut that all the way down and you were the one that got away all right see others you know they always let them back into their lives because they don't completely understand what they're dealing with so you know they'll cut them off and you know, these people think to themselves, uh, you know, it'll all blow over and then I can just pop up again. They're going to allow me to, you know, enter into their life again. And then they do, but not you. OK, uh -uh, not you, not you. You were the one that got away. All right. And, you know, they know something's wrong with them, too. They know they're not like others. And they they'll tell you. 
Okay, they know something's wrong with them. Now, if you've got no contact, they're going to try to creep their way back into your life. Not because they love you, not because they've seen the error of their ways and seen the light. Okay, not, no, nope, okay, they want revenge. You must pay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to pay because you just bruised my ego. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to need some revenge on that. <laughs> so, you know, they'll play nice, okay, or... They'll be cruel, whichever personality pops up at the moment. Okay, they just need you to react, to engage, all right? And if you do, it shows that you still care. And that is enough to make them feel like God, okay? But you show them that they aren't as powerful as they think they are, okay? <laughs> which infuriates them okay and since they can't get revenge because you got no contact you know somebody's got to pay you know and who would that be yeah the new con the new supply <laughs> the new supply <laughs> see they thought it was funny okay they thought your pain was funny okay and that's why you don't retaliate okay vengeance is the lord's okay and my god is funnier <laughs> Oh, we ain't laughing now, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, listen, remain no contact and pray for them, okay? Because that's all you can do. You were just a voice in the wilderness, okay? Trying to warn them of the one to come, Jesus Christ, all right? And now those uh, different personalities are upset, because they let a chosen one get away, okay? <laughs> okay, we are rare specimens, all right? Creme de la creme, that's that, that's that good supply, okay? That good energy. And you let them get away. They were right here. You let them get away. And that demon is letting them have it, okay? They're on punishment because they did not complete the mission. They're being tormented. Now, these demons are devouring their flesh right now and you know this can be it can be a good thing okay so either the demons are going to devour that flesh they, they're going to devour the bones they're going to devour everything until it's too late or they're going to devour their sinful nature devour that fleshly nature okay and then the bones will be preserved and god will breathe life into those bones okay and give them a new flesh, okay? A new heart, a heart of flesh, all right? But they have to decide that for themselves, okay? There's nothing that you can do to save them, okay? You, you must remain no contact, all right? So, you know, remember the man with the legion of demons? Okay, when Jesus was still some distance away, okay? Because when you sin, you get further and further away from him okay the man saw him ran to meet him okay so they got to go meet jesus they got to come to him and bowed low before him submission they got to submit okay then he cast out the legion of demons all right a crowd soon gathered around jesus and they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons he was sitting there fully clothed okay no longer naked no more shame and in his right mind okay some versions say perfectly sane no more double mindedness no more split personality no more split mind okay one mind in christ stability you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you can't make them change. You had to remain no contact. And something sometimes that can be hard because you know, you know, you know that they are suffering, you know, and it feels like a cruel thing to do, but it's tough love. Okay, you have to let them learn on their own. And and if you're around, they're gonna feel like a god still, okay. But you know, you go no contact, all right. Bad company corrupts good character, okay. So, you know, remain no contact and pray for them. Pray that, you know, that it leads them to repentance. But, you know, you can't change them. They have to change for themselves and you must remain no contact so that they can reflect. Okay, this causes them to reflect for a brief moment and it tears them up. Okay, because you're making them reflect 
because you're powerful enough to stay away. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then they quickly, you know, begin to lie to themselves and convince themselves that they're not the problem. But, you know, it still causes them to reflect from time to time. Okay. And, and, it, and it's tearing them up. You must remain no contact and don't let these church people guilt trip you for that. Okay. You are protecting yourself. Okay. And you're protecting them. All right. Tough love. All right. Love y'all. Good night.